Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Today is a very special day, not only because it's Christmas Eve, so Merry Early Christmas to you guys, but also today is the day that the kittens meet Rocco. Where, where are the kittens? <laughs> okay, well we're gonna put them up in the cages and uh, head over to my parents' house and uh, this should be interesting. Aw, oh, you precious little sons of guns, look at you. Oh, you're so cute, yeah. We just cut their nails yesterday, so in the event they whack Rocco, they shouldn't cut him open. So, uh, things should be good. Let's, uh, let's go give this a shot. Hi, little buddy. You have no idea what's about to happen, do you? We figured uh, that we should give them a starting point, so we're putting them in the bathroom. You ready, Mal? This is going to be interesting. Give him a chance to explore the bathroom first. Okay. Without fear of Rocco. Okay. Well, let's open this up. Hey, buddy. Welcome. So we should stay in here with him for a second? Just let him. Okay. Go ahead. We'll go when they're ready. You're okay. You know, Sagan's not going to do anything until Kep does. Yeah, he always waits on Kep to do everything. He's like, is this okay? Rocco still has no idea the cats are even here. This is going to be interesting. Rocco! He doesn't even know this. Rocco, look! You got a friend! You are the most unobservant cat I've ever seen. <laughs> cat sees him. He doesn't, no, he legitimately didn't notice him. Rocco! <laughs> look here! What's that? <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> He's like, what is that? Hey guys. We're friendly. It's the first time Cap says. Cap says, and it's okay, buddy. It's okay, Rocco. Hey, it's okay. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Rocco didn't hiss. Rocco's just like, what are you and who, why are you in my house? Hey, bud. You're okay. You're okay, little mohawk kitty. Second, we're back at the cage. He's like, man, screw this. You're okay. Marco's just chilling. You guys are alright. Come on, Sagan. It's alright. I wonder if Sagan's gonna be upset too, or if Sagan's gonna be more mellow. It'll take them a little time to get used to each other, but I, I think they'll be okay. This will be one of many meetings. And over time, everything should be good. Sagan's like, huh, what's up here? Wait, what's that? <laughs> That's another kitty. You like kitties? Sagan seems scared. You're okay. <laughs> no. Okay, well, Rocco's growling and Kepler was hissing at Rocco. Sagan's not making any noise. Sagan looks scared. Is Rocco making that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I, I can barely hear it, but. Hey, buddy. That's you, bud. Yeah? <laughs> Kep's like, good. The enemy is backing down. <laughs> I love how Sagan's not in the picture at all because he's still like, he's, he's just chilling at the, the door of the bathroom. He's just peeking to see what's going on. I'm sure he'll move whenever he can't see Rocco anymore. <laughs> Rocco's like, is he getting near my Christmas tree? That's my Christmas tree. <laughs> Kep's like, what is this thing? He's a good kitty. Okay, you're not a good kitty. That's all right. Okay. Kepler's now made it over to the door, and Rocco stopped growling, which is good. And now he has his eyes firmly planted on Sagan, who is uh, over there still in the bathroom. And I doubt that Sagan's probably going to leave that spot until he can't see Rocco any longer. But Rocco doesn't even care about Cap anymore, so he's just walking around. And Rocco was making a low growl noise, but he's he's kind of stopped doing that. Well, Cap made an entire lap, uh, a little bit into the kitchen, then all the way around the room, and it looks like he's now returning over to Sagan, who has not moved. Sagan and uh, Rocco have been having a staring contest. Uh, at this point, Cap's not really worried about anything. He's just kind of trucking around. He's probably going to go back and explore this room, since I don't think he really looked at it when he was first here. But I'm sure very soon he'll get bored of that and walk out again. Hopefully this time Sagan will follow him. 
It looks like Sagan finally is working up the strength to leave the room. A little bit. Come on, bud. Partially because, I mean, Kepler's been walking around everything. He was on top of the piano and back, so... Sagan's like, oh, I want a piece of this pie. Oh, he's starting to lay down. He's like, mm, this is nice. Can I lay here near you? Sagan went back into the, uh, the bathroom, but he's still staring down Rocco. Rocco lost sight of Kepler as he walked around here. He actually went over here and was, uh, taking a look at Rocco's food. Look at his tail. He's happy. Yeah, Kepler's happy. Kepler's yeah. like, this yeah, is he, great. Yeah, he's like, man. He's like, this is a big place. I can roam around. Can he's like, this is fun. I like this a lot. Finally leaving the hallway. It took Sagan 20 minutes longer than it did Kep. And Rocco still has his eye on everything that's going on. Kep continues to explore. He's doing fine. He was actually playing with some of Rocco's toys. Um, Sagan, not doing so hot. While he did wander around this room a little bit, ultimately he decided to run back and uh, he was actually in his cage. He pushed himself up into his cage and he was in there for probably a good five minutes. It looks like he's back out to the front of the door. I don't know. We're going to have lunch and, and hope that Sagan to get a little more bravery. I actually picked him up and took him into the kitchen because that's where Kepler was. I was thinking, you know, maybe since both of them are there, he would be okay. No, he immediately just ran across the house back and jumped into his cage, which is where he is again. Rocco moved back into the kitchen. I'm really hoping that now that Sagan doesn't know where he is, maybe he'll try and come out. We've got a bunch of uh, turkey and cheeses out, which is why Rocco's back in the kitchen. He's like, I'm on patrol, but I would much rather eat. So I'm hoping I can get Sagan to come out now, hopefully. We've made a little progress. Kep is over there by the tree. Rocco's under that chair. And uh, hallelujah, Sagan came back out. And Sagan is crawling back in under uh, under that chair right there. So I'm not going to go into the room because I don't want to scare Sagan anymore because he seems to be jumpy up from everything. Sagan has uh, joined Kepler. Looks like Sagan is going to investigate the tree, which he never did earlier. He never got that far. Oh, he's laying down yawning. Aww. Oh, he's so cute. And uh, Rocco's over there, so they're pretty close. Uh, I don't even know if Sagan knows where Rocco is. I assume he does. Yeah, he may try to climb the tree from the inside. I don't think, I d really don't think that Sagan's going to climb the tree. If anyone was going to climb the tree, it would have been Kepler. And if Kepler's laying down, then I think we're good. Eventually, they'll make their way to the living room and then everything will be sunshine and joy. Well, everything was fine and dandy over here until Kep decided he was bored and came back uh, to join us. And then Sagan got scared and was hiding over there. So I actually picked him up and took him all the way over here. And I was like, okay, this time I'm taking you all the way to the living room. Uh, he's not incredibly happy with that. Um, he's kind of hiding behind the, the curtain there. But Kepler's fine. Kepler's enjoying himself. And I'm hoping that because Kepler's around, he'll be comfortable. Although it just seems like right now he's just hiding behind the curtain. But hey, at least he's a little closer to everybody. I guess that's an improvement. Are you enjoying Rocco's toys? Huh? Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Kep. Ready? <laughs> Kep discovered the toy tied to the back of the chair. A minute ago, he was over there drinking uh, Rocco's water, and uh, Sagan, just chilling in there. He's decided that's his new hiding hole, but at least he's closer to us and not back in the bathroom, so I'm okay with it. You going to see your brother? Mm -hmm. He attacked him earlier. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit earlier. Kept just ran full force into Sagan, like, hey, let's play. Might be doing that again. You want to play? <laughs> he says, let's play. Come on. Playing is good. Is Look it? who's back. Huh? Are you checking out Sagan? Just when Sagan was making a little progress, you're trying to send him back? That's not good. Oh, big deal. We having a standoff. We having a standoff. Uh-oh. It's okay. The ta his tail hey, swelled It's up. okay, bud. You're all right. You're all right. It's daddy. And you're okay. You're okay. Rocco, you're okay. He ran off. See, what happened was I threw the ball, and Kepler went after it, 
he wasn't even thinking and he got like right up in Rocco's face because it landed near Rocco. See, now he wants to play again. Go get it. He's like, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. <laughs> there you are, buddy. Look at you. You're a cutie. You're a cutie. Unfortunately, it's, uh, they've been here for going on about two and a half hours. We're going to have to take them back to the house just for the fact that there's not a litter quitter here, so they would eventually start pooping everywhere. So <laughs> we're going to have to put an end to that. But it looks like they had a pretty good first experience here. Am I right? It took a while, but Sagan finally came out of the show a little bit. He's exploring. And this will not be the last time that this happens. Um, they will they will be back again on the table. <laughs> they, they, we're probably going to try and do this maybe like once a month so they can get used to it and uh, get used to being around Rocco. And hopefully, um, in just a little bit of time, maybe they'll be friends. It's wishful thinking, but it could happen. Possibly. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Only downside. Kept peed on the way home, which is sad, uh, particularly because it's only like a four minute drive, but Kep couldn't make it. Uh, we waited for him to pee before we took him over to my parents' house, and he was only over there for two hours, he also had a nice long pee before he left, but he apparently had to go, and he went on the uh, on the way home. Uh, yeah. Guess that's always a possibility.